Hi, everyone. Welcome to Radio Maria program, listening to the Flame of Love show. I am Jill Metz, and I'm the national director here in the U.S., and I have the great privilege of being with my sister in Christ today, Lori Brown. Lori, could you introduce yourself for us? Sure. So I'm the um, the direct regional director for the Midwest states and the northern states. That's how I serve Our Lady in this movement. And Lori is um, just an incredible witness to myself as she gave me the flame of love signal grace in my heart um, years ago. So we both live together um, close by in Indiana, and I have the privilege and joy of working with Lori um, all weekly, daily. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a great blessing. So we want to start our show off today by um, offering ourselves to the Heavenly Father through the wounds of our Son, Jesus. We'll venerate the wounds of Christ, and then we'll pray the unity prayer together. Um, Lori, would you mind um, starting us off with the veneration of the five wounds? Absolutely. We offer ourselves to the Heavenly Father through all the wounds of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We kiss the wound of your sacred left hand, Jesus, with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And we kiss the wound of your sacred right hand with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And we kiss the wound of your sacred left foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And we kiss the wound of your sacred right foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And we kiss the wound of your sacred side with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. And may our lips pray together to gain mercy from the eternal Father. Amen. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Lori, I would love it if we could start off um, just with this little time we have together today to talk about the exciting conference that we have been preparing the, for months and months and months for that's going to be happening this weekend at Our Lady of Champion in Wisconsin. Can you let our viewers know a little bit about what that's all about and, and who's on the lineup? Yes. And, you know, right off the bat, we have a sacred and holy place that we're going to be holding this conference at. And that is the National Shrine of Our Lady of Champion, where Our Lady appeared to Adele Brees in 1859 as the Queen of Heaven. And Father Jim Blount received a message actually four times saying that Blessed Mother wanted to have a conference there. That was five. Con that was four conferences ago. So this is our fifth fifth conference, and we've been obedient, and it's been quite a joyful ride with her because we she really does she opens all the doors. But we I think it's going to be our best conference yet. I just want to encourage everyone to visit flameoflove.us or flameoflove-indiana.com and take a look at this flyer. Consider registering. You still have time. There's still room. We have an incredible lineup of speakers. We have the international director of the Flame of Love, John Sullivan, freshly back from Africa with all kinds of wonderful stories and pictures, I'm sure, as well. And then we have um, the national director for Canada, Marcel Dufour, who will be there speaking. We have our own national director, Jill. And uh, 
we have the national director for, actually, excuse me, the COO of the National Shrine to Our Lady of Champion, Don Warden will be speaking. We have the, the chaplain of the National Shrine to Our Lady of Guadalupe, and that's a Father Hildebrand. He will be speaking as well. We have a Father Thorne who's going to have a healing service, that, and he's a beautiful holy priest. Um, we have some personal testimonies that are just Mm -hmm. I'm amazed at them. Even a uh, servant of God, Michelle Dupong's mother is going to tell her story. And they love the flame of love. That's, the flame of love was part of who she was and how she became well on her path to sainthood. Um, we also have uh, wonderful MCs full of enthusiasm and passion. I could just go on and on. Um, please come. I do think it'll be our best. Yet we, it's also Mary's birthday weekend. How can you fail on that? There are going to be so many graces yes. and a first Friday yes. and first Saturday. And we yes. will have a first Saturday special rosary. So all this in mass every day, we will have um, guided meditations during adoration, a period of 45 minutes and several deacons. I mean, it's just going to be wonderful. Don't miss it. Please consider coming. Yes. Thank you. We, we really hope that um, everyone that is listening to this will open their hearts and ask, just ask, plus a mother, is there a seat there for me? Am I supposed to go? And if that answer is yes, come. You will not regret it. It's going to be amazing. One, one of my favorite speakers in the world, Father Dan Schuster, who is um, just really uh, a great gift to the flame of love movement, but especially there in Wisconsin, he has some, just some great stories about how the flame of love has impacted his parish. Um, he's a great speaker also to touch again on father Thorne, who has a healing and deliverance ministry. Um, he has been to Medjugorje. I believe he told me 13 times. And so this priest has a lot, a lot to offer and, and wants to share it at this conference. So, don't hesitate no. to give your fiat and come. We have room for you. And Listen. I just wanted to, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, that's okay. I just wanted to add, if you're from out of town, you say, oh, well, you know, I have to find lodging and all that. I just heard there's a retreat center just barely 20, well, actually 40 minutes from the National Shrine where we will be. And they have rooms for $45 oh, and goodness. even very, Good. very affordable meals. Yeah. So just contact us if you're interested, but certainly register and we'll, we'll get you fixed up. Yes. And we'll be, we, you'll be received with open arms. Um, Amen. So one of the things we, we thought about touching base with everyone on today was um, really the flame of love prayer protocol, which is our spiritual weekly agenda. Um, uh, we, we talk a lot in the movement about blinding Satan, about the unity prayer, about um, this gift of grace for the flame of love. Sometimes as we um, enter in more deeply to the flame of love, whether it means reading the spiritual diary, um, the full spiritual diary, or, um, you know, joining a cynical, there's, there's different things that we can do to keep this flame of love burning in our hearts. This, these things stoke the flame of love. So the weekly agenda is definitely part of keeping the flame of love alive in your family, in your own heart. And again, this is the weekly agenda is from Jesus himself who asked us to um, order our week this way. So it's, a, a weekly spiritual agenda. Lori, did you have any comments before we get started on the um, agenda? Well, again, to underscore what you just said, this is from Jesus. This is him telling us this is how to remedy the problems in the world today. So it's not just the three prayers. It's not just the rosary. We want to build the entire ark and not miss a single plank. And so he tells us each day, and they're simple tasks. So in the many, several involve your own family and how to save them and much needed reparation today, especially against the Blessed Sacrament. And this is huge. We all know that. Yeah. 
So without further ado, let's get started. Um, for those that are listening or watching at home, you can go to flameoflove.us and pull up this exact handout that we're going to be reflecting with today. Um, it is underneath the living, the flame of love, because we believe that this agenda is more than that. This is a lifestyle for us. This helps, again, to order your week according to heaven's plan. And so download this weekly agenda off of our website. And again, that's under the, um, the uh, what tab is that? Uh, the prayer tab. And then you'll see it under the um, living in the flame. So here is um, the words from Jesus. Uh, it says, my daughter, I'm now going to sp specify how each week of the each day of the week should be allotted, allocated. Come, if you have time, if you have plenty of it, tell me. The decision is yours. I respect your free will completely. You flatter me if you abandon it spontaneously to me. So this is um, words from Jesus to entice Elizabeth about you know, embracing this weekly agenda. Um, and I love how he says, I respect your free will completely. And you flatter me if you abandon it sp spontaneously to me. So we console him when we give him um, our free will. So under the diary entry on April 10th, 1962, Jesus gave Elizabeth Kindleman instructions on how each day of the week should be allocated. Mary later provided guidance for Sunday. There are other clarifications about this weekly agenda elsewhere in the diary, but today we're going to go over the summary together. Um, Lori, would you like to read those words from Jesus um, again? To for start Monday? Us? Yes. Okay. The day for the holy souls. Let all your actions be done with the purpose of helping them. In union with me, desire that these souls contemplate my face as early as possible. Offer for them the strict fast as well as prayers during a part of the night. I do not ask this strict fast and prayer just from you. Make public these requests jointly with other messages from my heart. Anyone fasting on bread and water on Monday will free each time the soul of a priest from the place of suffering. Whoever practices this will receive the grace of being liberated from the place of suffering within eight days after their death. Our mother herself is asking for this. Her appeal to her flame of love obliges me to fulfill her request. So there it is. And there's some promises in there that are amazing. Um, there are souls that are in purgatory. They need our prayers. They can't pray for themselves. But we do need to add some fasting to this. And of course, as always, you pray about that. A, you want to make sure that you're not going to hurt your health. So you pray at how much you can give, whether it's the full fast bread and water until the evening meal at six. And B, if you think you can do this, then ask for the grace. Our lady will give you the ability to say no to yourself, to deny yourself that's those simple pleasures. And it's not that hard. I mean, so you would have, give up your coffee in the morning and have a bagel and leave it and eat it plain with a glass of water. That's an example. You know, and again, whatever bread you, you feel led to or however much or however little bread and water, that's what our Lord recommends. And then, of course, he will be our strength. And then let's, let's add the exclamation point if we do these things. Anyone fasting on bread and water on Monday will free each time the soul of a priest from the place of suffering. This is, you are freeing the soul of a, of a priest from purgatory. And whoever practices this will receive the grace of being liberated yourselves from the place of suffering within eight days after your death. And, and then it says, our mother herself is asking for this. 
Her appeal to her flame of love obliges me to fulfill her request. So it's our lady that ask our Lord for this grace. If we, if we do our part again, which is the strict fast. Um, and then these priests, these priestly souls will turn around and pray for you amen. and your family. Amen. So this, there's a wonderful silver lining to this as well. And for our situation in the world. And we know that, where Jesus talks about at the end of the diary that the church and the whole world are in grave danger, but we can't change it. And he says, we have to ask blessed mothers, um, her prayers and the concerted efforts of the angels and saints, but also the souls we free from purgatory are the ones that are going to help us. So the mass is an entire army of prayer warriors. Amen. And then the rest of this Monday, um, the day of the Holy Souls, it, it says, and this is for priests especially, so um, if, if you're a priest listening, or if your son's a priest, <laughs> or if you know a priest, this is a great one to share. If priests observe this Monday fast and all the holy masses that they celebrate that week, at the moment of consecration, they will free innumerable souls from purgatory consecrated souls and the faithful who keep the monday fasts fast will free a multitude of souls each time they receive communion that week and then it says regarding what kind of fast jesus is asking for elizabeth said our lady explained the fast we can eat abundant bread with salt we can take vitamins medicines and what we need for health we can drink abundant water we should not eat to enjoy. So I think that's a key part that we can touch back on. Um, and whoever keeps the fast should not should do so until at least 6 p.m. In this case, if they stop at 6 p.m., they should recite five decades of the rosary for holy souls. So um, offering our rosary that day for the holy souls is um, also asked. But it says here regarding, or I'm sorry, Consecrated souls and the faithful who keep the Monday fast will free a multitude of souls each time they receive communion that week. That's an, again incredible. That that should you know everything about the flame of love should make us stop and pause. It, it does certainly me. Um, I agree. But but this is an incredible promise, and and the how many souls will be freed from purgatory innumerable amount of souls so in our human terms we can think about what that means but what would that mean for for um heaven's terms innumerable that to me sounds like well, an awful big number and jesus answered that right he mm -hmm. said it's more souls than you can put into human numbers wow <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's amazing and, and then to think that we ourselves that practice this will be released from purgatory eight days after our death. That's no little promise either. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> that the special gift of mercy to those who will embrace this. Yes, beautiful. Um, and then in the diary it says, if this is too difficult for you, Please do not be discouraged. You can find another way to keep the spirit of loving sacrifices intended by the fast. But I love what you said, Lori, is asking for the grace to fast. Um, I can share um, just as, uh, you know, a miracle of the flame of love. My husband, some of you probably have met Ken, um, but he has uh, had always historically had a really difficult time fasting in general. Um, and through Our Lady's Flame of Love and his desire to want to fast, he most recently, um, I, I think over the weekend, he did a weekend fast on only water. And it's not to brag about his abilities, it's more to show this is someone who could never fast. He, he would get sick, he would get headaches, he had a really hard time. After receiving this great grace of the flame of love, he is able to fast on just water alone for a weekend. This is, he would be embarrassed if I actually shared this. So shh, no one told him I shared it. Um, but I do share it just as a testimony of the flame of love grace. So asking for that grace 
to fast is um, certainly key. Um, and the and I will say the Monday fast it is definitely sacrificial. It's um, it, it's in the trying, as Anthony Mullen always said. It's in the trying. Just keep keep trying with your desires and your prayers, asking for the grace, and I promise you will be able to achieve it if you do that. Okay, so Tuesday, offer this day for the family. Lori and I, I know we talk about this. We love Tuesdays. I love Tuesdays. Um, and I think that the Tuesday offering is really uh, quite easy and quite beautiful, especially when we know the promises. So Lori, could you read um, starting on that the Tuesday for us? Yes. Jesus said, make spiritual communions for each member of the family. Offer each person, one by one, to our dear mother. She will take them under her protection. You will also offer that evening vigil for them. And Elizabeth responded, Lord, I usually sleep deeply. What if I cannot wake up to keep watch? <laughs> and Jesus responded, I will help you with that as well. If there's anything too difficult for you, confidently tell our mother. She also spent many nights in prayer vigils. My daughter, you must be responsible for your family leading them to me, each in his own particular way. Ask my, my graces on their behalf unceasingly. We will work together. But I cannot do without your support. Your most worthy patron is St. Joseph. Do not forget him. Invoke him every day. He will gladly help make our cause a success. Wow. Um, it's amazing where Jesus says, I cannot do without your support. Mm -hmm. So we need to do our part in saving all these souls. Jesus is including us in this work of redemption. He's inviting us. It's quite an honor and a privilege. But how can we say no to him? My goodness. And plus, this involves your own family members. Yeah. So he gives us a prescription here on how to save them. My goodness, this... This prayer is so in union with the church and even this time of this Eucharistic revival. The spiritual communion is powerful. Yes, absolutely. Um, and St. Thomas Aquinas actually um, gave us the spiritual communion. And if you have not, any of you have not looked into some of the miracles that have come out of the spiritual communion prayers, please do look that up, especially during covid um, when families and people were not able to um, receive Jesus in the Eucharist, uh, these spiritual communions, our Lord gave miracles through the prayers of these spiritual communions. So they're very, very powerful. And as Lori said, th these are foundational prayers for our Catholic faith. I do want to touch just quickly on the night vigil, though, because the night vigil comes up often in in uh, in questions and what does it look like. And for the sake of time, very simply, I would say there is no right way or wrong way to do the night vigil. Everyone has different experiences with the night vigil and how they incorporate them into their prayer life. Some people will set an alarm and get up at that time, actually kneel down by their bed and pray. Some people will um, pr just pray when they're prompted and they wake up and go right into prayer. Um, some people have a designated time even on the um, perpetual adoration link that we have online that they, I know um, Monica Ludwig goes there every night at 2 a.m. Um, to pray for an hour in, in, the, um, in the, uh, the communion room. Um, so please... Don't feel intimidated about a night vigil. Again, this is just the same with fasting. Start where you are, ask for the grace, and the Holy Spirit will guide you. Um, but when you do wake, what Our Lady is telling us for on Tuesdays is when you wake for the evening vigil, offer that time, that prayer in the night for your families. And, and I do like that St. Joseph is mentioned here as well. Yeah. And honestly, um, I, I hadn't thought about that much. I kind of discovered that piece later. It somehow went over my head. 
But he, Jesus is saying, don't forget him, invoke him every day. He will gladly help make our cause a success. So that, that's an important component as well. Especially for today. Christ. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Especially for the time in the church today. We need St. Joseph for families, yes. for the church, terror of demons. Um, always be invoking St. Joseph for sure. Yep. Okay, so Wednesday, um, a priest, a, a day for priestly vocations. And here Jesus says, ask me for many young men with a fervent heart. You will get as many as requested because the desire lies in the soul of many young men, but there is no one helping them to realize their goal. Do not be overwhelmed. Through the prayers of the night vigil, you can obtain abundant graces for them. So we just spoke about the night vigil. There's no right or wrong way to do um, the night vigil. Everything is grace. So if, if you wake up in the night and you say one flame of love, Hail Mary for priestly vocations, if that's the grace that God's given you and you respond, that's going to be a blessing. Um, if you feel called to do more, especially um, in, and I would say dioceses that are struggling in vocations, you know, make a holy hour um, during the night on Wednesday for priestly vocations and, and do the Flame of Love Cynical um, Holy Hour sheet if you if you feel called and led to do that. Lori, do you, you have know, any? Can I say something? Please, please. <laughs> yes, a, a thought came to me. Some may say, well, why doing these things on certain days? I mean, we mm. can do that any day, right? Or every day of the week. Well, let's not forget the power of when we join together with a Amen. single focus. Amen. So if all, you have all these people, for instance, on Mondays that are trying to get souls out of purgatory, especially priestly souls, there is a power when we unite together, especially against the enemy. Amen. And we mustn't forget that. So, yes, yeah, stay true to what our Lord's asking. If you do forget or if you couldn't get in the prayers for your family on Tuesday, for instance, then I just go ahead and do them the next day or, or whatever day, you know, that it comes to my mind and I'm able. So certainly that's good. Yeah. What the best is on the day that Jesus asked. Amen. And I love that you're touching about uh, the unity of our prayers, the power when we join together. This is what we have to do in order to blind Satan. We have to gather in close ranks um, that's how we become conquerors by working uh, in unity for these souls. And, and so thank you for bringing that up. That's um, incredibly important. Could you read for us Thursday? Yes. And we're, we only so. have about two minutes left, um, believe it or not, <laughs> for, for this segment. So we may have to pick up um, the rest of this on part two. Yes. And we really don't want to rush through this because it's rich. It's this is advice for our times Amen. from our Lord. Amen. I mean, he's our being our spiritual director here. I love so that. On Thursday, yeah. On Thursdays, um, he's asking for reparation to the blessed son. Oh, my. This is so incredibly important today. Uh, especially, again, in union with and in keeping with the, this Eucharistic revival. So Jesus says, on that day, Thursday, you will spend hours in my sacred presence. Adore me with great fervor, making reparation for the many sins and offenses inflicted upon me. Immerse yourself in my sorrowful agony as I was sweating blood. You will draw great spiritual strength from it. And later, Mary gets very um, specific. Lori, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pause you for the Thursday and Friday promise, because I think if we just touch on this, that will be the, the last of our time that we have left for today. And then we can pick up again um, for the Thursday and Friday promise. So let's, sure. let's unpack this, um, the reparation to the Blessed Sacrament. How, how as you said, important is this now for our time. Um, we understand as Catholics that um, not only is the Blessed Sacrament being mocked, ridiculed, and um, really spit upon, 
um, that we as Catholics have an op opportunity and an obligation mm -hmm. out of love to um, repair his heart by going and making atonement for those who do not understand, that do not know the love of Christ. So Thursday in particular is just a really, um, for me, and I know for everyone in the movement that are taking part in this, again, that unity to work together in a spirit of collaboration to repair is really the heart of the flame of love. And you know, we've even been given direction from heaven on what prayer to pray. Because as we all know, the flame of love and Fatima are very compatible. In fact, the flame of love is the message of Fatima times 100 because we have more messages and we have this added signal grace. But there, there was the divine prayer of reparation given at Fatima. It is so powerful. It actually came from God himself through the angel who appeared to the three children. And when you listen to the words of the prayer, and I'll just recite Please. it very quickly. Yeah. Oh, it's it tells you how important it is. And that was back in 1917. So now fast forward to 2024 and, and following we desperately need to say this prayer. I've memorized it. I try to say it in churches when I go to mass. I try to say it a lot. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, truly present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages sacrileges, and indifference by which he himself is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. So, and of course, you can branch out and pray your own prayer, of course, and offer Holy Mass, which is a wonderful reparation. But I think that we shouldn't take lightly that we've already been given a divine prayer for this way back, you know, more uh, over a hundred years ago yeah. that's needed even more today. Beautiful. I'm, we're out of time. And that, that half hour went very, very quickly. So we had um, the, the desire to move through the whole week with you. But as you can see, it is very rich and it's very, very important as we keep stressing, this is God's plan for our week. This is our prayer protocol. This is our spiritual agenda. So I hope that everyone listening will tune in again. Um, listen to part two of this where we talk about um, Thursday and Friday promises as well as the rest of the week and the promises attached. And, and again, what our Lord is asking of us in unity. So please tune in again. And we are so grateful that you have joined us today. And um, we just ask that you receive the gift of the flame of love with open hearts and share it with everyone that you meet. May the flame burn in all hearts, we pray. Thank you, everyone. Amen. Amen. Bye. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence He shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first luminous mystery, the baptism in the Jordan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. 
spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace, of thy flame of love, over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The Fourth Luminous Mystery, The Transfiguration Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The Fifth Luminous Mystery the institution of the Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. 
spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that while meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins and my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Saint Michael the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together, may our hands gather in unity, may our hearts beat in unison, may our souls be in harmony, may our thoughts be as one, may our ears listen to the silence together, may our glances profoundly penetrate each other, may our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen.
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.